Now imagine looking at your family knowing that soon you may never be able to see their faces again. Well, that's the reality for people with an eye condition called retinitis pigmentosa, which causes complete sight loss. But there is hope for some. NHS England is looking for people with the condition in the southwest to take part in trials of a so-called bionic eye implant. Our health correspondent, Jenny Walrand, has been to meet two men with the condition, one of whom already has the implant. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. I can I hear you. you. I can't yeah. see you. I got you. How are Hello, you? Hello, Julian. Yeah, I'm very fine, thank you. Jolly good. Welcome. We've come for a walk at the National Trust's Godolphin Estate. Both Jeroen and Julian have a condition that has caused them to lose their sight, retinitis pigmentosa. But Jeroen has an implant known as a bionic eye, which allows him to see contrasts and outlines. When you fill the glasses, uh huh. So it, you know, this is my eye. There's, yes. there's the chip. And oh, I see. The other eye, there is no, there is no chip. How does it work now with the chip? What can you see of me, of my body? When I look at you? Yeah. Okay. This is what I do. I see. So, yep, yep, got because that. Because this is, this is what I see. Uh huh. It is 30 degrees. So I must scan to get the screen. I see, it. yep. It enables him to walk without his stick and guide dog and describe to Julian wow. what he sees. Okay. Trying to focus and trying to follow in front of me the people are walking mm -hmm. and now there is a difference between the light and this so Irun and Julian's condition causes their retina the cells at the back of the eye to break down but Yeroon has an implant behind one of his eyes it's linked to a battery pack on his belt and a camera on his glasses it's already been used in the UK on patients with age-related macular degeneration. Later this year, NHS England plans to pilot the operation on 10 people with Julian and Yeroon's condition. They're looking for suitable patients to be referred through their GP. For Yeroon, the implant, which is officially known as Argus, has had a remarkable impact on his life. Yeah, sometimes it makes me crying because it's so beautiful with a new sun rising. He now goes skiing, does archery, and has found love. I have a lovely girlfriend, Nanda, and uh, our, our wedding is in, in June. And, uh, and we get a relationship when, when I got the, got the Argus <laughs> five, five years ago. And, uh, yeah. and the rest is history. So the rest speak. is history. <laughs> Happily ever after. <laughs> yeah, I think for sure. <laughs> Meeting Jeroen has given Julian an idea of how his life might change if he put himself forward for the NHS pilot. And this weekend, Julian will begin a walk from Land's End to John O'Groats to raise money and awareness of the need for continued research into eye health. Sight loss is something that isn't fully understood in this country and the impacts of sight loss are many and varied. So I want to be talking about that during my walk and yes I do want to promote eye research because I happen to think that it's one of the best kept secrets in the UK. When I went blind in 2010 I actually knew nothing about this incredible world of discovery and innovation. The big blind walk will take around seven weeks and Jeroen will be joining Julian for the start. Jenny Walrand, BBC Spotlight, Godolphin. Now, if you're a man, you're over 50 and have experienced health problems, this next story may interest you.